Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable 2.5 inches USB 3.0 2 terabyte hard drive repair and data recovery. Inside of a Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable drive is a Samsung 2.5 inches hard drive and a SATA to USB adapter. Seagate Backup Plus Slim Portable Drive problems can be categorized into three. Problem 1. SATA to USB adapter damage. Problem 2. Hard drive PCB board damage. Problem 3. Hard drive disk assembly damage. Problem 1. SATA to USB adapter damaged. Solutions. 1. Fix the adapter directly. 2. Connect the hard drive to another SATA to USB adapter or external enclosure or another computer. There are three common methods to fix a hardware PCB board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Repair the PCB board directly. 3. Swap the PCB board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. The most vulnerable parts on the PCB board are USB port, USB IC and motor IC. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3 PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After knowing the hard drive model number and the PCB board number, you may use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board swap step 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer 
is to transfer the PCB board from where? From one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bent hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. If this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.